excited that you are here and you're with us on our YouTube channel. Now today we are going to take you through like a quick uh, warm up, very simple warm up, but it is going to just get your heart rate going. And then we are going to work with tie pads. Now Madeleine, as you guys know, is our Muay Thai champion and we are going to show you guys how we can do all the kickboxing moves that we've learned in some of the previous videos on the channel um, and we're going to use them and work on those tie pads. They are very nice tie pads. And we're going to show you in a minute, we're going to do some combos on them, but first we're going to start a quick warm up. So if you guys are ready, you don't need anything for this, it's just going to be your own body weight, we're going to do some shadow boxing and we're going to do some burpees. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to start, we're going to start with our left, uh, left foot in front and we're going to do our jabs. So you guys ready? And let's go. That's it, snap it out. Keep that punch a straight line from the jaw, straight, quick, hup, 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 the other hand up. See how I bring my hip over as well, hup. Yes, you guys are doing well. Can you hear the area breathing? Push, push, yes, it helps. Everybody's got their sound. It helps. You know? I'm going to exit all of those punches. Nice, you will start feeling the burn. Keep it up. Strong, quick punches. Hup, hup. Almost there. Five seconds, let's go. Good. Quickly catch your breath, and mm -hmm. then we are going to go for those burpees. Now we're going to start by going down. As we come up, we're going to add the jump to the top. Okay, but first we start by going down. Ready? Last deep breath. And let's go. And one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, good, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Good. Woo. Okay, guys, you've got ten seconds to catch catch your breath. Yes. Then we're gonna go right leg forward, and we're gonna go in our jabs again. Okay, breath in, breathe it out, and deep breaths out. Guys, I just want to say well done again. It's about consistency. Stay strong. Let's yeah. go. And just keep going with that. So, again, <laughs> quick, quick snaps. Okay. You are going to feel that burn, but that's the idea. Okay, keep the core right. tight. Hands up. Let's do this. Ready? And let's go. Five, six, seven, 
<laughs> Alright guys, high five. We deserve a high five. You deserve a high five. And you also deserve a quick break. Alright, quick rest. Have some water. And then we're going to start with run one. Okay. So, my lady's going to explain to you how we hold this when you're working with a partner. Now guys, very important when you start holding thigh pads, I see a lot of people want to put their thumb there. You don't want to do that because with that force you can break your thumb. So very important, tighten it nice and tight. You want a little bit of movement and then grab over like that. Same with holding your focus mitts. If you're holding the pads, you need to be in your fighter stance as well. Yeah. So left leg forward, this one here. Never have the elbows out there, you're going to hurt yourself. So nice and tight and just put pressure. Same as with the focus mitt, main important thing, thumbs out there. Okay guys, and when, when you hold for a round now, don't hold for your partner like this because you don't want to teach them to kick up. Yes. You have to hold it nice up there so that they can know to kick through. Okay, let's okay. start. Alright, so if you guys are ready, and as you can see here, it is advisable to wear shin pads, especially if your shins aren't conditioned here to use it because the, the tie pads are a little bit harder than the kicking shield. So you can use that. Um, and again guys, if you don't have tie pads and you still want to do this video, you can do it with a normal kicking shield or you can even just hold the focus mitts and then you will go a lot softer and just make sure that your partner is um, in control of his pads when he holds them. Alright, are you guys ready? And let's go. The first round is fairly basic. We're just going to do 10 kicks each side. We're starting with a round now, so we're going to go right and left. Then we're going to do 10 teeps each side and then we're going to go 10 knees each side but on the focus pads. Yeah. Now before each set we will show you how to hold it for that particular kick. Yeah. Guys, take yeah. your time, focus on the technique. Step out, kick through. We want power. Clear our shadows. Let's go for the one. Okay. Let's go Ready? one. Shh. Good. Two. Shh. Three. Shh. Four. Shh. Five. Shh. Six. Shh. Seven. Shh. Eight. Shh. Nine. Shh. And ten. Shh. Nice. Quickly, immediately, swap over. You can change the leg or you can do a switch kick. Whatever is better for you. I think for now I'm just going to change my leg so it's easier for you guys to see without the swap. Okay, so okay. let's go for ten. One. Two. Three. Keep and on going, guys. And and get your distance here. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Nice, that was good. Okay, all right. And again, as you saw, we are maybe just kicking a bit soft in the beginning to make sure that your partner is in control of those pads. We don't want the pads to kick them in the face. Okay, for the next one, we're going to work on the teep, the push kick. Remember, you want to hit it on the ball of the foot, especially the, these tie pads are harder, so you don't want to break your toes. So bring the knee nice and high and extend. We're starting 10 with the rear teep. Okay, this one. And what I'm doing, I'm holding here, so the guy's holding the pads, you're going to work your abs as well. One here, one there. The person throwing the teeth, focus. Not in your, mouth, in your partner's mouth, you want to have it there in the middle. Just show them, okay. just check your so place here, in first. Just go softly yes. and just feel it there. And go softly and just feel it there. Okay. And we okay. want to snap. Don't leave it there. Snap, bring it back. Let's okay. go for 10. Let's go one. <laughs> nice. Harder. Let's go two. <laughs> yes. Yes. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Swap over. Other side. Okay, so again you can either just step it in for the front one or if you want to practice it this way we can also swap around. For this one I'll just swap around and we'll go with that. Okay, okay so ready? Ten. Nine. This is just a warm up, getting those legs before we do the combos. Okay, for the knee, I'm holding the same way. I don't have a belly belt. If you had a belly belt, you hold it like this. Same way, but now when it's that knee, I turn it a little bit to that side so she knows it's that knee. Okay, so let's go 10 you back. Knee. It back knee. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Other side. Okay, now for this one I'm going to go back to the swap one so you guys can see the swap. And again, as you see, it is a little bit of an angle. Okay, so make sure that we step it out when we do that. Ready? 
Ten more to go. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Have a little bit of a rest. Okay, there's enough time. We can do another set of 20. Are you guys ready? Let's go. We're going to finish the minute. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, nice. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, yes, we're four, working. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. And breathe. All right. Well done. You guys are doing well. Now we're going to go back to those punches. Hey, sit up and punches. Okay, hook in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Good, keep breathing. questions any requests and yeah hopefully we'll see you guys soon yeah looking forward to train with you loads and loads more